My oh my, I have spent a month with the HP Omen and this thing packs a punch. This is the newly redesigned HP Omen Transcend. I've misspoken in my past reviews. For some reason I had it in my head that it was called the Transcendent. It's not. I totally realized that, but I had it stuck in my head for some reason. But this laptop is newly redesigned HP Omen and it is beautiful. It is thinner and lighter than the previous model. And I just really think it was time that HP made a revision and they did it very well. Like I said, I've spent about a month with it. So I'm gonna talk about some things that I like, some things that I don't like too much, and then hopefully we'll help you make a buying decision. As I mentioned, first and foremost, it got thinner and quite a bit lighter, not a full pound lighter, but probably about a half a pound lighter than the previous model. So that is a big win if you're looking to take this thing on the go. Now it also, it carries over the 16 inch screen, which the previous HP Omen had, and the display is very nice. However, one thing I don't like about the display is it looks like they still have this big chunky bezel along the bottom, and it just makes for not as an enjoyable of a viewing experience. I wish that was made a little bit smaller. For instance, the Lenovo Legion Slim series, those have a nice slim bezel, really like that. And so that didn't carry over into this model with the revisions that they made. Now you do have a nice little manual cutoff switch for the webcam, that's great. And the webcam is pretty good. I'll show you a quick sample of it just while we're speaking about it. This is the webcam on the HP Omen Transcendent and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now, before we get too carried away onto the inside of the laptop, let's go ahead and check out the ports and connectivity. We have two USB type C's on the left side panel and a headphone jack. Now with ports on the back panel, we have our USB type A HDMI power adapter and a network port. And of course, on the right side panel, we have a USB type A. Now looking at the assembly on the bottom, cover. One of the best assemblies I've seen at an Omen. This thing looks great. The bottom cover fits into the side panel very nicely. We have a nice full vent here. You can see that the main vent portions are here, here, and here. This is all kind of covered, but obviously the air can travel through underneath the covered spots and it, you know, vents fairly well. And then also we have a vent back here and vents along the back of the panel, as well as on both of the side panels. So there's plenty of ventilation on this laptop. Now, while we're on the bottom cover, let's talk about the upgrade path. You pull the bottom panel off, you have access to two RAM sticks and two M.2 slots, one occupied, one unoccupied when it comes from the factory. So there's a great opportunity for upgrading this laptop as we've seen in the past with other HP Omens. Now, as we flip this laptop over, this does have a large 97 watt hour battery. However, because we weren't able to turn off the dedicated GPU, there is a MUX switch, but it was not able to switch off the dedicated GPU. The best battery life I saw for this laptop was eight hours for streaming video playback. That's a decent battery lifetime. However, if we were able to switch off that dedicated GPU, we might have seen some better efficiency in regards to battery life. But I must say, with an HX series processor, this isn't a shabby battery life. So I can't say this is something about the laptop I don't like, because for an HX series processor, that's pretty solid. I was able to achieve these battery life results by putting the laptop on its quietest mode possible, turning the screen to 60 Hertz refresh rate at a 20% screen brightness and Windows battery saver mode turned on. Now this panel, my goodness, this is where it's at. This panel gets up to 778 nits of brightness. This is a mini LED display. It reaches 100% sRGB, 92% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI-P3, all at a delta E of 1.98. So it's super bright, has a large color gamut range, and it is solid color accuracy at under a two delta E. All right, now let's get into the inside of the laptop here. We have full size arrow keys, your special selection of HP Omen keys. This is pretty unique to Omens. I've not seen any other manufacturer do this key cluster here. And then of course you have your full size shift keys and the trackpad is almost centered on the keyboard here. You can see it's actually a little off centered from the space bar, but there's more space over here and there is here. So it's kind of centered on the space bar, but not really. It's not centered on the keyboard deck. You can see there's more space here than there is here. So it's gonna position somewhere over here. Now, to me, I wish it was a little bit more designed so it aligned with the space bar or it aligned with the actual keyboard deck. I don't know if that was a design faux pas or just there's some sort of math that they did here to place the trackpad here. Maybe I'm getting a little carried away, but I just think it's odd. It doesn't really center on anything specifically. If you know where it's centered on, comment below and let me know, but I can't tell. The keyboard itself feels very nice under my fingers, a nice medium key travel, good snap back. They definitely have a plasticky feel to them. They're not like a soft touch matte material. And then getting down to the trackpad, 
it's a nice muted click, which I really like. So the keyboard and trackpad, you won't annoy your neighbor if you're at school or if you're at a coffee shop or your coworkers, both are nice and quiet. Here's a quick audio sample so you can hear it for yourself. I've reviewed many laptops over the past few months as I've been getting more and more into my studio. This one still stands out as a top performer with the i9-13900HX and an RTX 4070. If you look at the score inside of Photoshop, we scored a 1,217. Really great score right up there with other RTX 4070s and actually is fitting above an RTX 4090 inside of the Zephyrus G14. So killer performance from this laptop and definitely gonna come in at less than that G14 price point. Now going ahead and looking at After Effects, a top contender for After Effects with a 993, almost breaking that 1000 for After Effects. You're gonna have no problems with this laptop, especially if you wanna go ahead and make an upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM. It's gonna be a powerhouse inside of After Effects. Now looking at Blender Classroom, this is an area where we saw really good performance. It wasn't necessarily a top, top contender, but it made it into that chunk of the top 10 laptops that I've seen recently on my channel. Now going through Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, you're not gonna have any issues with this laptop. The RTX 4070 and the Intel i9-13900HX are a great combination for 3D modeling and architecture, no concerns there. Now, as we look at 4K video editing, a two minute and 16 second export time, killing it, doing even better than the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i by one second, you know, a little bit better. So definitely great performance there. And then going ahead and looking at 6K video editing results, this is where we saw it kind of pop down the results a little bit at a 15 minute and 41 second export time. The Lenovo Legion Pro 7i had an 11 minute and 43 second. So I would say if you're video editing, Lenovo Legion Pro 7i is gonna be your pick if you want the absolute best performance for 6K video editing. Um, just edged it out by a little bit there. Now the next up on the list is to look at playback for video editing. 4K zero drop frames, 6K B-RAW zero drop frames, 6K red footed zero drop frames, and we even tested 8K B-RAW and 8K red. For 8K B-RAW, 8,421, and for 8K red footage, 7,199. Keep in mind that those test results are what we were seeing out of the Omen for 6K just a couple of years ago. So to see this live top now crushing it with zero drop frames for 6k and the same drop frames for 8k we're seeing technology improve year over year so great results from the omen should you buy this laptop what stands out to me most about the new hp omen is the build quality it's improved a lot in offering a more premium aesthetic and a premium feel to the laptop the older omens felt a little chunky a little bit more of affordable materials used to create them. And this one definitely has a far more premium feel than I've seen in the past from the HP Omen. So punch for punch, you have the performance you need, you have the build quality, you have a great keyboard deck trackpad, and that insanely bright mini LED display. This is a fantastic choice for anybody looking for a creator machine that also loves gaming. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you here in the next one.